if I would tell you now as a customer, open this 3D image in Photoshop and separate all objects from the background, detach the balloon tires and the footrest to a separate layer and recolorize the gas tank into orange color, uh, and yes, remove the reflections from the backlight on the oil tank, what would be your best approach to solve this task? Well, definitely not working with lasso tool or painting manually masks. In this video tutorial, I will guide you through the image data interchange process between 3D software and Adobe Photoshop. We will use EXR image format, the optimal solution for the digital artist workflow. It is widely adapted and used in all video effects studios, broadcast or movie productions and for the scientific visualizations. Some of the most valuable strengths of EXR image format are the lossless, robust open source fundament, ability to hierarchically store countless data channels and supporting all high color depths up to 32-bit. All these components I described here are something you already have. Maya 2017 with Arnold Renderer, EXR image format is built in by default and Adobe Photoshop as a standard photo editing tool. But since Photoshop can only open one standard layer from EXR file, we need a tool which will allow us full and seamless image data transfer from Maya into Photoshop. For this, we will use EXR.io, the free plugin you can download from EXR-IO.com. So, let us imagine this Maya scene represents our project design shot, or a character, or whatever you have to deal with. It consists of background stage, a motorcycle, HDRI light sphere, and an area light placed directly above. In Maya 2017, Arnold is already set up as default renderer. I will leave all settings as they are, since we are focusing here on one major point. How to render and output this 3D scene with all layers optimal for post-production. But it won't be edited in new core fusion. We will do all retouch work in Photoshop. Why? Well, it is much more difficult to teach an artist to do retouching in new core fusion than in Photoshop. In terms of speed and tools, Photoshop is still the king of the image editing. And how to split a 3D image into its base components? Arnold in Maya comes with the concept of the AOVs, the arbitrary output variables. It is the same thing you know from other 3D renderers as uh, render elements or render passes or render buffers. This AOV provides a way to render any arbitrary shading network into different images. I will call these AOVs from now on render passes because it is much more suitable and easier to pronounce. Using these render passes, you can extract and save from the image shadows, lights, reflections, or even motion blur vectors or image depth. In this tutorial, we will render the image using the most common render passes, the AOVs, for the 2D image editing. In the AOV settings, we need to access AI standard section. From this Arnold render passes selection, we will pick the four most important passes which will create the final look of the image. Direct diffuse, which represents the scene shading caused by direct lights. Indirect diffuse, the scene shading generated by indirect lights like global illumination and so on. Direct speculars, the reflections caused by the light emitters. And indirect speculars, the reflections from the object in the scene. All engaged render passes in the scene are listed now here below. The output image format is EXR, since we want a lossless maximum quality with all layers included. It is also important to click on the arrow on the right side to access the other image format settings. Then one of them is very important. Please toggle Merge AOVs in order to save all render passes into one image, instead of spawning them on your hard drive. Finally, I will press render and both the image in the frame buffer and the created render passes will be saved as EXR file in my Maya project directory. It is time to open the image in Photoshop. Simply go to open or double click on the empty desktop in Photoshop and select the file. The EXR IO loader pops up with the default options we should leave as they are. Once you press open, Photoshop will ask you to convert the EXR render graphics into sRGB color space. This means this file will be gamma corrected. Different from other compositing software solutions, which loads image data in linear workflow, Photoshop tries always to change these gamma values for us. 
There are cases where we do want to work with raw input data in Photoshop, instead of adding gamma to it, but it is another lesson. And here it is, our bike, nicely imported as a multi-layer image. The layer on the top is the RGB color representation, the beauty shot, with all render passes baked in. Below are direct diffuse, direct specular, indirect diffuse and indirect specular, just as we have created them in Maya. To compose them, we will add one over another. I usually start with the direct diffuse layer with my light information. Then I put the indirect diffuse over it and blend them with the linear dodge or add method. I will repeat this for the direct and indirect specular, adding them on the top too. The composition is now absolutely identical with the beauty shot, but with one major difference and advantage. An artist can now access light, shadows and reflections separately and tune the image look in a way which couldn't be done in the past using the single image layer. We can now remove the undesired reflections or highlights independently from the metal shader color and texture. If we switch now to 16-bit color depth, we can even use all Photoshop paint brushes and filters to recolorize different parts of the bike without damaging the high glossy and polished metal reflections. But what I still miss here are the object selections, the mask for the objects and background. I still have to crop them manually in order to detach them from the background or from each other. I will show you now one method of how to create automatically Photoshop layers per material in order to get clean masks for image editing. It has to be done on a shader level, in the hypershade. Each Arnold shader shares the scene AUVs or the render passes. You can see them on the left side. For a special mask per shader, we will create our own custom render pass. This layer should be, as masks usually are, unshaded full color. Add Arnold Utility Shader to the scene, select Shade Mode to Flat and Color Mode to ID. This way, each individual object in the scene will be flat shaded and saved as the mask render pass. We simply plug this flat colored ID into the created AOV render pass field. I will repeat this action for the three further shaders in the scene, uh, for example chrome, the gas tank and the rubber. You can optionally create one utility shader and plug it in all AOVs fields. In the Arnold render settings, we can see now all render passes from the Arnold plus our own custom masks. We do want this mask to be in a transparent empty background, so we need to save them as RGBA with the alpha channel. Let's render the image again and open it in Photoshop. This time our layer 3 looks different. Beside light and specular render passes, we have a nice, clean and exact mask per shader. I will repeat the same blending procedure as we did it before and group the color render passes together. Holding Ctrl and pressing the left mouse button, you can turn any layer into a selection and use it to mask or crop image elements. Now the fun begins. We can retouch shaders, remove highlights, paint below reflections and all this in exact defined image areas controlled by the mask that we have rendered in Arnold. It is very unlikely I will ever be able to mask out manually and retouch in this clean way so many image material so fast. With this technique you can speed up production workflow immensely. It is a minute of time to add these render elements in Maya to the final image output and in many cases it can save you hours of rendering or manually masking pictures, especially when the time is short and money insufficient. Thank you for your attention and for more information and a free download of EXR IO plugin, please visit 
exr-io.com.